So this video is going to be about my new practice technique that I'm going to be using and I've started using. Uh, I'm not going to claim that I came up with this, but I haven't really seen it discussed in many videos. So uh, I'm just going to take it upon myself to make a video explaining it. I'm going to be focusing on um, the, meth the practice technique with reference to the Roo method. But if you use CFOP or another method, you can still use the same principles. So the, the practice technique, as you can tell by the title, uh, I've kind of called it partial speed blind. And what it is is basically you pick a part of your solve and you practice that part of the solve, memorizing what you need to do and then doing it blindfolded. So I think the most simple example that most of you already know about and already do pretty uh, pretty often is like first block blind. So I always tell people to work on being able to do their whole first block blindfolded. So a lot of you have been practicing that, which is great. So this is basically the first progression. So here we have this, 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 these two immediately. I know how to solve that just like that. And you saw it was basically real good list because of that new B finger trick that I started doing. Um, yeah. So, uh, that's the first progression. And as you know, and I've, as I've always been talking about, there's also the next progression where you do like, um, first block plus the DR edge blindfolded. I'll just show that really quickly. Something like that. So first block and the DR edge and all that's pretty good. And then you can do it even further. You can do a uh, block plus a square. I won't do it right now. I don't want to inspect for too long. And then even further, you can do uh, first block plus second block, the whole second block blindfolded. And this, I think the reason this practice method is so effective, especially for the blocks, is because the more you know about exactly what you're going to do before starting the solve, the less you need to look ahead and the faster you can turn. So I found that just doing a bunch of uh, drills with the first block plus DR blindfolded, first block plus second square, first block plus whole second block. It's really improved uh, how far I can see. And I kind of got this idea from uh, like skewed people. They often talk about instead of look ahead, like know ahead, you know exactly what's going to happen. So you don't need to look ahead if you know how your second block is going to be. And I think this is just overall really useful and will be the key to improving my resolves and potentially yours if it's something you need to work on. Um, and aside from blocks, you can also apply this to other parts of the solve, which I'll be showing. Before I move on from blocks, I'd like to say uh, what you can do is just solve first block only and then have your second block scrambled or something and then do second block blind, maybe inserting the DR to make it easier if you can't do the whole second block. And basically uh, what this will allow you to do is if you can do first block plus DR blind and you can do all of second block blind, uh, then you'll essentially be able to solve your whole first two blocks only doing one look in your actual solve. So this makes look ahead really easy and you'll be able to turn really fast. So for this one, uh, something like that. My turning was really bad. I really suck at turning when I'm blindfolded. So uh, yeah, just ignore that. And the other type of thing you can do is like last slots and CML blind. So if you're practicing CML prediction, what you can do is pull up uh, last 10 piece scrambles and then do a few moves, something, pick a random pair and then do that and then start the timer, uh, start looking at the cube, inspect it. Okay. You figure out how to solve the pair and that it's going to be that case because this is going to be sorry, go there. This goes here. This goes there. That's going to flip and come here. And then you can go straight into this and then there's your CMLL or uh, your last slot plus CMLL type of thing. Um, the other thing I've started doing is something like this, something like CLL EO blind, which is just, you, uh, you memorize, you, you start the cube, you do a LSC scramble, L10P scramble, you memorize the cube. So you learn how your CMLL is going to affect the edges and you do CMLL plus EO. So I know this switches these two, then there's a U. So basically I'm just going to do a UM after. And there's my EOLR. If you can't do that quite yet, you can just do CMLL plus EO. And if you're just a beginner and you're just working on LSC only, you can do only EO. So you can look at the EO case and then blindfold yourself and see if you can solve it. Easy expansion from that. Once you learn EOLR, you can do EOLR blind like that. Um, that's basically it for the types of drills you can do. So it goes, uh, you can do first block, you can do first block plus DR, you can do first block plus second block square, you can do first block plus second block, so whole first two blocks, 
You can do second block only blind. You can do second block with DR solved. You can do last slot plus CMLL. You can do CMLL EO, CMLL EOLR, EO only, EOLR, and I guess the last one you could do is ULUR plus 4C. That's an interesting one. Um, but the way I like to practice this specifically and like kind of program it into my practicing is uh, before I actually start my 3x3 session, I like to do about 50 solves of one only one of these uh, variants. So say for a week, I'll pick, okay, I'm going to do first block plus second block square blindfolded. And uh, so I do... Say on Monday, I start that. So on Monday, I'll do 50 solves of first block plus second block square blindfolded. And then after those 50 solves, I'll start my normal session. And then I'll do the same thing on Tuesday and I'll continue that for the rest of the week. And then usually I'll notice that my look ahead's improved and I can plan more an inspection and that my, my times have decreased and my success rate has inc increased for the actual uh, partial blind practice. Then after that whole week is over, I'll start on Monday and I'll uh, pick another part of myself to do partial speed blind. So say now I want to look uh, work on CMLL prediction. So then I'll start doing uh, last slot plus CMLL. Do that for a week, same way. Just do 50 solves of it before my standard 3 by 3 session and move on to something else. So it's kind of you're periodizing, you're practicing to focusing on different parts. And what this really allows you to do is to focus on improving look ahead and prediction skills as well as inspection in one specific part of your solve uh, during your 50 solve warm up or practice session, and then being able to apply them in the actual session afterwards. And I really think this is beneficial. It's helped my times quite a bit. Uh, now I'll insert some examples of me doing some solves with uh, different uh, the different steps. Hopefully you guys can start implementing this too, and we'll see benefits from it.